My name is Jack and I've climbed the most iconic ridges in the Lake District, but you Welsh lot in the comment section of my last video kindly told me what a soft ass I am and that Crib Gok is made of tougher stuff. None of these child's play Lake District ridges. So here is the Jack of Snacks debut of Big Beautiful Bloody Welsh Rock. The host has messaged me saying that they've popped out and won't be back till five. She has said that they've left it open. <laughs> I'm staying, well, you can see behind me, I'm in like, the, I think it's called Shepherd's Hut. This is Helen and John's Shepherd's Hut in Glyn, which is between Capel Coorig and Bettersea Coid, with just a 10 minute drive from Penya Pass. Helen even baked me a fresh loaf of bread on arrival, which caught me off guard whilst I was speaking to you guys. Very oh. hot bread. Thank you very much. <laughs> I wasn't expecting fresh bread. So, yeah, here you are. Penny is that Penny Pass? Okay, so this is the road. So you'll go along here, yeah. and when you get into Capel Coorig, which is about two miles along the road, you turn off to the left and up. This is crib. So here we are here, okay? Just yeah. go out onto the track, go through the farmyard, go over there and just follow up. And this is the lake that this is the lake that John was saying, this is the little boat houses at the end here. So after having a little explore of the local area before the sun went down, I went to bed early as I had a huge day of hiking ahead of me. I woke up at 6 a.m. and made the 10 minute journey to Penya Pass, where I started capturing the morning sunrise over the Welsh mountains. So I started my journey on the pig track, which has the option of turning off for Crib Gok route. I hadn't seen anyone in my first 40 minutes of the hike. It was incredibly peaceful, but I kept looking up at the peak of Crib Gok, almost as if the descending moon was guiding me to my objective for the day. It certainly looked menacing from my current perspective, and I did have doubts about ascending this immediate wall of rock in front of me. The thought of doubt creeping into my mind frequently, especially when I'm not in my local area of the Lake District. Here's the path. Let me give you an angle. Oh man. <laughs> oh. So this is the continuation of Pig Snowden's in the clouds there. Oh man, but we're going up here. It looks insane. So the thing that I keep telling myself, I'm going to be doing all the elevation gain, all at once, all in a wanna. Hi, bring you back shortly. Here we are. Oh, it's absolutely glorious. Oh, some god rays coming in. This might be stating the obvious, but I'm not going to be using this camera when I'm actually navigating crib. I've got my GoPro on my chest, it's strapped to us underneath this jacket. And I've got my drone, and I'll put it in follow me mode, so it'll stay locked on to me. And I'm gonna get it to follow me across Crib Gok. I'm not really sure where the path is, if there even is one. I, it's, it's to be said that anyone that suffers from vertigo isn't gonna enjoy this. Fortunately, I don't suffer from it. In fact, I really enjoy looking over the edge. <laughs> Maybe it's a bad habit, but there's something about looking over an edge knowing that that's potentially your demise, that is just, it really locks me into the moment. It really helps me appreciate what I'm doing. Oh, I'm really taking it in right now, guys. It's absolutely beautiful out here today. And with that, I made my way to the top of Crib Gok. <laughs> This is everything I imagined it to be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm absolutely loving it. If you like soloing this type of terrain, I'd always suggest introducing yourself to someone there so you can be on a first name basis with someone if you need help. Soloing is amazing and I do it mainly because I have a lot of anxieties around others, but I realise the danger that comes with being solo, which is why I try to buddy up with another friendly hiker. Today, that buddy comes in the form of Chris. We introduced ourselves and agreed to stay within shouting distance of each other whilst tackling Crib, just to give us both that peace of mind. That rolled in fast. I could always use more. <laughs> so you can probably hear my drone right next to me. I've got it in parallel follow me mode. I'm totally hands free. It's right there. Technology is just unbelievable. Like. <laughs> Whilst Crib Goch started off relatively easy, it did get increasingly harder than I expected it to. I can say with certain that Crib is definitely harder than any of the ridges I've done in the lakes. It has a super sharp edge for a considerable distance, both sides having sheer drops. There were a couple of moments that I sat down and held on for a few minutes whilst I just got my bearings. And on top of that, this is where my drone started playing funny buggers, right when I was on the thinnest point of the ridge. A cloud swooped over the drone, and because it's locked onto me, it was struggling to see me through the cloud, and it lost its subject briefly. This caused it to frantically try to find me again, but it didn't quite succeed. It started rapidly moving towards me, and then boomeranging back out. Safe to say, I was crapping myself at this point, but I tried to stay calm. My controller was in a webbed netting area of my bag. I had to remove it to get it out and take control of the drone again. Then I had to land it in the palm of my hand. Looking up at a flying object and landing it precisely on your hand whilst balancing on a thin rock is brutally disorientating but I managed to do it and get it secured. So I've just put the drone away, cariously perched on this ridge. Either side of us, just a little drop like. Get my gloves back on, I'm gonna crack on. You know, I had the drone out before and I'm really glad everyone's pestered me to come here and try it after seeing my uh, Hellvel and Stride and Edge videos. Uh, look at that thing. I'm gonna climb him. I can see a way up there. There's like a rather large giant staircase. I'll have a go. I'll have a go at the giant staircase. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I am so happy right now. My God, this path looks bloody precarious. It's quite scary actually. You know, I was considering jumping around there, but I'm not gonna jump. That would be highly crazy. I'm gonna step over. There we go. The camera isn't gonna be able to put this in perspective for you guys, but that is just a straight drop. Chris is waiting for us. Give him a shout. Hi Chris! I'm alright! <laughs> Thanks for waiting for us. So Crib was somewhat of a success. I think without the drone situation I got myself in, I would have crossed without any problems. I should probably say that if my drone played up any more than it did, I would definitely not try to save it if it meant putting myself in any more danger. You're seeing a short clip of what happened here, but I did assess my options before deciding to land it in my hand and I just felt like I could do it. So that's what I went with. So let's continue on towards a uh, Withfa which is Snowdon's rightfully Welsh name, and get my first summit in for the Snowdonia National Park.
that's it from me then guys i'm making my way back down i hope you've enjoyed the video crib goch wales snowden if you've enjoyed it it literally means so much if you uh, leave it a like and drop a comment signing off from snowdonia national park catch you in the next one guys peace <laughs>